G'day, my name's Robert Williams from Clearly Talking and today's word of the day is Bezor. A couple of different pronunciations, but as far as I can see, Bezor is the one to go for. And it comes to us from the mystical world of Harry Potter, the fantasy world of Harry Potter, where you'll remember in the first film, Professor Snape asks Harry what a Bezor might do for him. And in fact, it is supposed to have healing properties, uh, remedy against many poisons, supposedly. Anyway, I'm not sure that that is the case for the real Bezor, which is also supposed to have healing properties. I don't think that it is a restorative against poisons, so I wouldn't like to give it a go. But uh, anyway, that's certainly what it was believed to be in history. In the past, bezoars were supposed to have these healing properties. They come from the stomachs of cows and goats and things like that, ruminants. And the word itself comes from to us from Arabic or Persian. Yesterday's challenge word was bizo. Now, I did say it's like a lot of Aussie words where they shorten it and then they add an O to the end. And this is no different. Bizo, biz, biz, business. There you go. Business. So my bizo is running clearly talking. What's your bizo? I don't know. Today's challenge word is black stump. Now there's usually a little bit that goes in front of that black stump. So what is that thing that goes in front of the black stump? Something black stump. Hmm. Go away and figure it out. You've got a couple of days over the weekend to have a look. If not, I will reveal all for you on Monday. Meanwhile, if you like our videos, please click the like button down here and subscribe to our channel. If you want to find out more about what the Clearly Talking Accent Reduction Programme can do for you or someone you love, drop me a line to robert at clearlytalking.com. See you on Monday.